Greetings from my crap kitchen and happy Valentine's Day to you. Oh my God, it's been a while people, but I don't know what to say. I've had a lot going on and I didn't have much energy. Here, I'm back, okay? Let's be grateful. I'm sure you're so grateful for me. Um, What are we doing today? Well, today I'm making a Valentine's dinner and if you make a Valentine's dinner for your sweetie, I'm sure they'll appreciate it. But don't do what I do. <laughs> don't make something overcomplicated like I'm doing. But I can tell you, so this is the thing. I'm making, first of all, I'm making flan for dessert because I married a Spaniard. Um, I got this idea that I made bulbas for... Uh, for um, Christmas Eve dinner. And uh, I don't really have the ton of money that you need to make, you know, to use lobster tails as stock. So I decided I'd make, you know, a simple fish, like a fish chowder, which is delicious. And my husband's a fisherman, so we have fish in the freezer all winter for his fishing trips. And we've got one two pound bag left, so I'll do that. And then I got very excited because I picked up some fish heads. Let me find them. Um, see, here's a fish head and assorted scraps. And I thought I'll just make a fish stock. <laughs> you know, there are a lot of rules to fish stock. Um, apparently, you cannot use flat bone fish and boil the stock because it makes it bitter. But you can use not flat bone fish and you can boil the stock. I read this in a 1997 article for the New York Times. I assume it holds st uh, holds true. I'm looking at my scraps and I don't think they're uh, flat fish so I'm gonna boil it. And I have a fennel. <laughs> Peeking at you from behind the fennel. I have a fennel, um, which is celery that tastes like licorice, and it's really good in um, a fish dish. So I'm going to attempt to make this uh, fish stock. You got to really wish me luck with this because um, it's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah. And I'm going to chop up an onion, and I'm going to chop up the fennel, and um, saute that in olive oil salt and pepper, bay leaf, blah, blah, blah. Put uh, water, a lot of water, and then put these fish things in it and cook it up and strain it. And then I'll make the soup with some more fennel and onion and tomatoes. And I'm gonna try and make the Sicilian fish stew. Why did I choose this? I don't know. Um, but something you can make, which is quite lovely, is flan. And um, you, you boil sugar and water until it gets caramely, caramel, and put it in the, um, you put it in little Pyrex dishes. I'll get a little Pyrex dish for you. So these are the ones that I use. They were my grandmother's custard cups. So you pour some caramel in there. And then, um, flan is really easy. It's, you just, uh, combine milk and I use uh, a combination of whole milk and condensed milk. The condensed milk makes it a little richer. Um, milk, eggs, and uh, egg yolks, some recipes call for, and vanilla, sugar and salt. And um, after you put the caramel in this little dish, you just combine everything else and pour it about up to here. And then you put these things in a water bath and bake it for about a half hour. It's very fancy. It's very delicious. People are really impressed. So if you want to make your Valentine flan, you can. <laughs> I once said flan and people made a lot of fun of me. I can't help it. Flan rhymes with can. It's spelled the same way. You can make flan in a pond. All right. Be well. I, you know, my friend Larrabee says I need a quick tagline to say at the end of these things. So I'll say, uh, 
Don't let the bastards get you down. Keep cooking in your crap kitchen.